NASA astronaut and today's camera guy, Ron Garrett. And we're on Expedition 27 here on the International Space Station. And as part of all the experiments that we're doing, we are doing some experiments for kids back on Earth who have designed some really interesting uh, experiments to look at some, some fascinating questions. Now, today's question is uh, an experiment by the Neighborhood After School Science Association. And that those kids are in New York, and that is NASSA, NASA. So we thought that was a pretty cool name. And their experiment is about Newton's third law of motion. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. And they were interested to find out whether a rocket in microgravity here on the space station would behave the same as it would um, as one launched from Earth. Now we're not going to launch rockets, uh, real rockets, but we have paper rockets that we're going to launch. And what the kids found um, at the uh, at NASA and ASSA is that when they shot their rocket, you know, straight up, it went about four feet. But then they could and they could see the effect of gravity as they shot it at different angles. But their hypothesis is that in zero gravity or microgravity, like we have, that rocket is going to go until it meets an, an, a wall or something that stops it. In other words, the effect of gravity is not going to be very. Uh, it's not going to be uh, have a trajectory that points down because of the effects of gravity. So let's see let's about see what happens. Process. Okay, I'm going to go grab my camera. Okay. Okay. So let's see. Got my uh, that at NASA and ASSA. The kids wanted to uh, shoot their rocket 90 degrees in the air, and that's just a little inconvenient for here for us here on the space station because our ceilings are kind of short. And so we have defined the floor today as this. So pretend that I am on the floor, okay? And so 90 degrees from the floor would be straight that way. And so that's my floor. But since I'm in microgravity, I can be on my floor this way. And so here is a 90 degree up, which is really like straight up in the air on Earth. And then there's 30 degrees, little, which is a little uh, little further down, and then 45 degrees. And what, what we're trying to figure out is what happens to our paper rocket. Now, I constructed this per their procedure, which was to take an empty shampoo bottle and tape a piece of exercise tubing to the top. Actually, they didn't say to tape it, but it turns out that the shampoo bottle is still kind of slippery from the shampoo that was in it tubing didn't want to stay on there, so I had to tape it. So the tubing is taped on there, and when I squeeze on here, I can feel the air. So air is going to come out the end, and so if I have my rocket on the end, I'm going to push my rocket um, off the end of the tubing on a trajectory in line with my angles. And that's what they did back in New York as well, and we're going to see what kind of results we get. Now, when they shot theirs off at 90 degrees, it went four feet straight in that direction that it was launched in. So, ready, Ron? Ready. Okay. Three, two, one. saw that our rocket traveled a certain direction, a certain distance on its own momentum being shot out of the shampoo bottle, but then it was actually sort of captured by the air vent, and there it goes. Three, two, one...
time today trying to understand more about certain Newton's third law of motion. And we shot our paper rocket off at 90 degrees, at um, 45 degrees, and at 30 degrees, and tried to understand what kind of um, motions that we saw. That's pretty cool. So, you know, our friend Sir Isaac Newton was a pretty smart guy, and, you know, one of the things he said is an object at rest will stay at rest until it's acted on by something else, and if an object is in motion, it will stay in motion until it's stopped by something else. And I think we demonstrated that today uh, with your experiment in that when you take gravity out of the equation, which, which we can do here on the space station, what we're left is air currents. So we had a rocket that was at rest, and we gave it some, a big burst of air current uh, with the bottle, which sent it on its way, which started the motion. And so that motion, according to, to Sir Isaac Newton, would just continue in that straight line until it's acted on by something else. And what it was acted on was either hitting something on the space station or by being picked up by the air currents that exist on the space station because we have lots of fans and filters and pumps all pushing the air around so that we have good breath breathable air. So once it got into one of those currents, that was the force that acted on the motion and changed the motion until it basically rested on, on that vent that, where the air was sucking in and, and uh, causing it to be at rest again. So I think, once again, Sir Isaac Newton was proved right. It's true. And even at the, at the short distances, when we were aiming more right at the floor, there wasn't almost a, a distance or a time for other forces to be acting on our paper rocket, and it hit the, hit the floor before it actually got caught up by the air currents. But then afterwards, you saw it be influenced by air currents. Oh, good job. Nice procedure. <laughs> Thanks very much, and have a good day. Learn more things.